Welcome back. I'm Saurabh, also known as SVTron. In the last video, I showed you the tools tab in the inspector. And in this video, I'll show you how to call the inspector from your own code. So I'm in the default playground out here. And Jason already showed you this, but you can just go scene.debuglayer.show and run the playground. And you'll automatically see the inspector pop up. Uh, this is the default view that you get when you call the inspector from code. Uh, but you can customize it further by just passing in some additional properties to the show function. So to get the list of properties, I just hit Control and Space, and I get this autocomplete list. Let's start off with Embed Mode and set it to True to see what it is. Let's run it again. And you'll notice that both the Inspector and the Scene Explorer are now just one window uh, kind of on top of each other. Uh, if you're shot on re screen real estate, then you can just use this embed mode. And instead of taking up two panes, it's just one pane. Uh, in fact, that's the default view in the playground if you hit this inspector button. Uh, it'll always use this embedded mode so that it doesn't take up a lot of screen real estate. There are a couple of other things here. There's like this pop-up window button, which lets you create a new browser window and you can pop it back in. But what if you are uh, not running this inside a browser, but uh, trying to use an embedded web view or like doing like a PWA where you're not allowed to just create new browser windows. Uh, so you can just configure the inspector and uh, disable that pop-up by simply saying enable pop-up false. And if I run that again, uh, I no longer see that button. All right, so let's go back to the default mode, get that button back. I just removed that property and pop it out. Uh, over here, another kind of weird UI quirk is if I'm popped out, I get these two close buttons. And maybe I don't want that. I just want one close button. Uh, so I can just disable that close button. I can just say enable close false. And if I run it again, I no longer get a close button. So if I pop it out, I only have one close button there and not two buttons to deal with. So that just shows you, gives you an example of uh, how you can customize the inspector. Uh, there's plenty of other properties that you can go play around with. Uh, with that, we wrap up this calling inspector from code video. And we also actually are at the end of this introduction to inspector series. We hope you liked this content. Uh, we would like to create more similar content, but would love to hear from you on what other content you would like to see. So please let us know. And thanks for watching.